All right, I need to film this because I know my kids are going to go through these books and then we will never see them again as a collective whole to make this video for you. So today we are doing a, where did I go? <laughs> half price books. We're doing a half price books haul. First, I'll show you what I got for them and then I'll show you what I got for myself, all homeschool related. Let's go. All right, so uh, if you don't have a half price books near you and you would like to purchase these, if you're an Amazon lover, I will have Amazon links down below for you as usual. And um, other than that, check your local libraries, other bookstores if you don't wanna do Amazon, it's up to you. All right, so let's get started. The first three books that I got from half price books, I wanted more because they had more options, but you know, budgets. <laughs> They're those picture puzzles uh, where you have to like search for the items. And the first two are Scholastic, I believe. Yes. So let's show you the first two. The first two I got mainly for my six-year-old daughter. And that is the I Spy Spooky Night. I have wanted to get these since um, you guys know I love Tori from Oglesby. Ohana. Um, she talks highly about these and it sends me to like childhood when I loved these two. So mine was mostly Where's Waldo? But uh, yeah, every kid loves these and it's proving to be the truth. My kids are already obsessed with these books. So the first one is like a spooky night haunted book. So, you know, you're going through each page of like a old spooky mansion and finding the things listed down here. And I also got a Christmas one because who doesn't love Christmas? So we have a Christmas one as well. A look at some of the pages here to show you that you'll go through. We love these type of books. I love them in my childhood, so it's time to let my children love them. And we've had these for two days now and they are loving them. Now, because I got those for my older kid and I knew they'd be too challenging for my three-year-old, I got this one as well. So it is the Disney Pixar Monsters University Search and Find. So it'll give her like a little story. We love this actually. It gives like a little story followed by the characters you need to find in the crowd. And these are obviously a big hit. Now this next item is a bit random because it was just what my daughter chose. She wanted this and it's because she's obsessed with these little games, especially um, right before eating at a restaurant when you're kind of in that waiting phase between ordering and eating. And it is a book, just a book filled with uh, tic-tac-toe, the dots game and hangman. So if you can see it on the back here, those three games, it is full of that so really simple i really don't have to show you it's all the same no matter what page you go on so that is something we will use at restaurants <laughs> okay so here's the next stack to look at and okay this first one i was really interested in it was next to bob's books so i'm wondering if they're related they may not be um but they are called we both read and just to say who it's by it says we both read books we both read and then it has different authors for each story I got three of them between the one and two levels. Basically it's a parent and child book created so that you take turns reading. So here's one, this is about the ocean. And in this book, I'll show you how it works. There's this section here, let me make sure it's not glaring. Sorry if it is. There is a section here that I would read and then a much simpler section on this side for Viviana to read. So I think these will go well and I think she will like the quality time and interaction as well as the information given. So when I seen these books, they do have both um, fiction and nonfiction options. I got two of the nonfiction. So we got About the Ocean by Cindy McKay and we got About the Rainforest by Heather Johansson and Cindy McKay. And so in this one, I'll just show you a few pages. Same concept where I'm reading the larger portion, but she gets to read the smaller section. And lots of pictures of animals found in the rainforest or creatures, not just animals. And the one that I got that is fiction is The Frog Princess, or no, The Frog Prince, sorry, um, by Cindy McKay. This is a book for us to read together as well. And here are some of the illustrations, same format where I have the larger section to read and she gets the much simpler section right after. So yeah, I have those books. If you're curious, the Monsters University, well, the picture, like the find and seek picture books are between $3.99 and $6.99. And these books right here each were $4.99 a piece. 
All right, so my kids really like when I implement these in homeschool, um, implement, when I put these in homeschool, because sometimes we just wanna change it up and do something simple, but still learning. And so this is what we will use. I got three. The reason I got three is because one is for the home, the girl that I watch from my house. I do babysit a, a little girl a few days a week and she, I can tell she feels left out that I hadn't had one of these for her in the past. And so I made sure that this time around when I got one um, for everybody, I got her one. So this is perfect. It's for two and up and it is by Gakin Workbooks, uh, Play Smart Build Skill Builders. So we're going to do tracing, drawing, matching games and mazes. So here are some looks at the pages in case you want to know like what's inside. So just like I described on the front, these activities revolve around those skills. Perfect for a kid her age. And then for Viviana, my three-year-old, I got the first Fairy Tales sticker fun. This was created for ages three and up. And, um, oh, by the way, this one was $3.49. This one is $4.98 at my local uh, half price books. I keep forgetting the name of the store. Um, but basically it is sticker activities along with some lessons. Um, this one isn't as much learning, is it? No, it is, it still is. Like we're learning about shapes and things. So you see they're matching shapes by shadows. Matching is what happens on this page. And this one is like a craft. You'll need foil, scissors, and stickers, tracing. So a lot of skills still in there for young kids. They really thoroughly enjoy these type of books. The last one is for my six year old. This is for seven plus, but she can handle it. And it's called the Magical Unicorn Activity Book. They also had a mermaid one, but she wanted the unicorn. This was $4.99 at half price books. And what are we working on in here? Puzzles, amazing activities, dazzling drawing projects, mazes right here. If you see, it's like a maze. Can you see it? A maze to go through to get the princess to where they belong. We have a word puzzle on this page. This is where the words are scrambled and you have to unscramble them. Spotting the differences between the two pictures. A page, this is fun, learning how to draw a mermaid. She's going to love that. So that's nice, it even included the mermaids. All right, my camera, the memory was full. I had to delete some things, but yeah, plenty of activities in here. This one was $4.99. And lastly for the kids, ooh, my hair. And lastly for the kids, I got a game. This is called Visual Eyes. And it's the what you see is what you get game. So as you can see on the back here, you get dice. Hopefully you can see that. It says race against your opponents at in the clock to find familiar words and phrases on the dice. Creativity counts. So it's basically you creating some kind of correlating saying um, from the dice. This is for ages eight and up. It is a little bit advanced for Viviana, but I got it because it was a steal. It was three dollars <laughs> and we can try it now and see how it goes and if not if it's not a good option for now we can do it in the future but i thought it was a cool game okay now moving on to things that i got for me so this is the only thing not homeschool related but if you know anything about me you know i love my record player and i got a dion warwick record okay so it was 4.99 i had to get it the only one i wanted more was um one that was 29 dollars <laughs> And I'm just like, secondhand, no, no, not paying $29. Um, so we went with Dion Warwick. Okay, so books that I got for myself regarding homeschool, but will be awesome um, to use for me or for the girls. The first one is Girls Can Do Anything um, by Caitlin Doyle. I got this for $3, $3, and it's a whole book filled with women in history who have done something. So we have some awesome information all through here. Um, at least I hope so. <laughs> that is one thing I got. The next thing I got was called Teachers uh, Teaching for the Two-Sided Mind. Um, I don't know if these are any outdated practices. I don't know much about this book. I didn't even check what year it was, but the title grabbed my attention. It's from 1983. Um, so we'll see. I'll probably have to research and see if this is still considered accurate information, um, but I thought it was interesting. It is a guide to right brain and left brain education by Linda Verley Williams. I do know that it's not necessarily true that one side of the brain does one thing while the other does something else. The two actually interact, but still I'm going to check it out, see what it's about. And hopefully it's got some good information in there. It was $3. So couldn't beat that. 
This one is called Speeches That Changed the World by, it doesn't say on the cover. <laughs> Who is this by? It has UK pricing. So is this from the UK? It's got American people in it. I have no idea who the author is right now. Um, but here's what the cover looks like. Once again, it was $3 in clearance and it just goes over obviously various speeches throughout history and and uh, I thought that'd be a good way to get to know history is to focus on some of these speeches that are significant to our history. Hopefully it's a good one. I don't want to claim it is because I don't know. <laughs> and the very last book I want to show you once again was $3 on clearance and that is the Handy Weather Answer book. So my kids are always asking questions about weather. When I seen this I said let's get it because you guys always have questions and I have no answers because I really don't know weather that well. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done that class in school. Um, so yeah, it's just, you know, basic book here. There are some black and white photos in there, as you can see, but that's it. It's more for information and I'm hoping to get good use out of it. All right. That is what I got from, why do I keep forgetting what it's called? <laughs> half price books. That is what I got from half price books a few days ago. So check out your nearest half price books. If you don't have one, I'll link all these books down below if I can. And if not, check your library, check anywhere and see where you can find these books if you're interested in any of them. All right, don't forget over here, you'll find some videos related to my homeschooling channel. Maybe I'll throw up a book haul on the top for you guys if you're looking for more books and something else you may be interested in on the bottom. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have fun homeschooling.